The entertainment scene slows down a little bit here in the summer, but everything is up and running now. Definitely. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us with Suncoast Scene to give you an idea of what you may be interested in this weekend. Linda. Uh, a musical that some people call the best Broadway musical ever, children's theater that will delight the little ones, and world champion boat races. Today on Sunco Scene, we've got it all. When they get on the train for Niagara, she can hear church bells chime. The Oslo Rep opens its fall season Friday night with Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls is uh, uh, clearly the perfect musical to start out the season because it's so joyful, it's so sexy, it's uh, full of so much humor. And right now, I think in November, I think everybody needs a good, good laugh. And I think everybody needs uh, some beautiful musical theater magic. The Sarasota Ballet is at the Sarasota Opera House this weekend. So it's three different ballets by three great choreographers. The first ballet is by George Balanchine, one of his absolute masterpieces, Apollo. Also on the program, Sir Frederick Ashton, Sinfonetta, and gala performance by Anthony Cheaters. Million Dollar Quartet is a huge hit at the Florida Studio Theater. It tells the story of an actual night in history, December 4, 1956, when Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Johnny Cash were all together at Sun Records in Memphis. And there's a famous fo photograph of the four of them together at the piano. Um, and this play, this musical, tells the story of that night. Million Dollar Quartet is now playing, and it runs through January 8th. And you've got to really hurry if you want tickets for this one. And Velveteen Rabbit for the younger set opens on Saturday in the Bounds Lab. It's about the stuffed rabbit and the stuffed rabbit's child, the boy. Um, and as the boy loves the rabbit more and more, the rabbit becomes real. Only what does real mean? And what is the power of love? And uh, the play is a stage version of that book. And you don't want to miss the Inglewood Waterfest this weekend. The races start on Saturday and Sunday at noon. We've got viewing right here on the beach. They're only going to be about 150 yards off the beach at the most at any one time. So the best viewing is right here and tickets are only $15 for the entire weekend. The beach parking lot will be turned into race village and the dry pits. And all the boats will hang out there when they're not racing. And at the Inglewood Waterfest, you're going to need to park in a parking lot on the mainland and take a shuttle over. We'll all be there, so come over and say hello to us. Right, we have to take the shuttle too, so wave we'll on see you by. On the bus. We'll see you there. <laughs> That's Maybe right. Bob. That would be Bob. Bob, 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 Bob has Bob, like a yeah. horse-drawn carriage or something because yeah, he's right. doing so much. <laughs> I'm gonna take a boat all the way down there. Yeah, speedboat. Okay. Have a good night.